want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harukakadash, the Anos, to the apostles, who are elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. A shalom to the sincere brethren. I came out there across the four winds, the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth, this good news, this gospel of Yahweh Shai, proclaiming salvation to the elect of Israel, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are proclaiming the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so called white man. Hey, so, hey, this topic, this lesson, basically, basically going to be going into how we as the Hebrew Israelites, hey, we hella rich, man. We rich, man. We rich beyond measure, man. You understand? How are we rich? First, first and foremost, we spiritually rich, man. You understand? Because we have the understanding, specifically the elect, we have the understanding and the, wis the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. The truth of the scriptures has been revealed unto us, man. And secondly, and same way, we have the kingdom, man. The eternal kingdom that come in, man. Same way, man. We have the et eternal kingdom. Eternal glory, man. Eternal uh, physical riches, man. That's coming our way, man. Riches beyond measure, man. Physical riches beyond me measure, man. Physical glory beyond measure, man. You understand? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. I know thy works and, the, and I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Can't because right now in this dispensation, physically. In, in the carnal sense, the Hebrew Israelites, for the most part, are, 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 are in poverty, man. You know what I mean? Here in America, that's why you have a thing called the wealth gap between so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Between the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the so-called white man, man. You understand? The white man, wealth is beyond measure. While you are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, wealth is minuscule. You understand? Because why? You're living in impoverished conditions why because of the curses of deuteronomy the 28th chapter you understand and even if you go down to south america the caribbean west africa jake is living in poverty you understand for the most part the vast majority and i but thou art rich can so how are we rich man we rich because what we are the israelites we are the chosen people you understand we are that chosen people. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. <clears throat> chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art unholy people. Holy meaning what? Separate, man. For thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Come, so we are above all people, man. That's how we rich, man. We are above our people. We are special people unto the Lord. We are the chosen people, man. So, of course, we rich, man. We might not be physically rich during this dispensation, eh, but we spiritually rich, right? Because we we, we we the chosen ones, you understand? And we have the physical riches to come. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And originally, this was talking about those uh, false... Uh, Leaders among Israel, among among Israel back in the day, back in the time of Yahweh Shai, man, those false, wicked scribes and Pharisees, and false, uh, false men pretending to be upright and holy, you know what I mean, back in the day. But in this time, this scripture is twofold. But in this, in this time, you have these fake Jews, man, these Amalekites, you understand, these so-called white Jews, man, who has what. Taking on our heritage, you understand? You know what I mean? Trying to, talk, trying to take on our blessing. Have committed identity theft against us, man. Trying to steal our riches. Trying to steal our blessings, man. And guess what? During this dispensation, <laughs> hey, physically, man, in this wicked world, Job 9 and 24, 24, in this wicked world, those so-called Jews, they're the richest people, man. The Rakshas, the Rockefellers, the Dupans, the Gettys, the Merovingians. Those are the richest people, which are so-called Jews, man. Hey, you, you have those Jews in Brooklyn, man. Hey, man, they own all, all that different real estate and pro property out there in Brooklyn, man. Really, in New York City in general, man, you have your so-called Jews owning all type of real estate, man. You understand? Owning a, a Wall Street. You understand? These different big companies, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. 
these are all so-called Jews, man. You understand? So what? They are rich. Those so-called Jews, they are rich in this dispensation, man. In this world. In this wicked world, man. Why? Because the world is given unto them, man. But the true Jews, we are rich spiritually. Are we going to be rich in the kingdom to come? In the world to come, you understand? When Yahweh Shai gives us the dominion. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 19. Verse 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall, shall, shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And so this is Yahweh Shai talking to the disciples. Son, talking about what the kingdom, man. In the kingdom, hey, the disciples and the rest of the elect, man, hey, we're going to be the top men, man. Lord's, Lord's willing, I'm a part of that number. Lord's willing, you brothers are part of that number. You understand? That 144,000. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Come. So we're going to everlasting life, man. That's something that's unimaginable on this side, man. You understand? So we're going to receive what? A hundredfold. You know what I mean? So, hey, man, we're going to be blessed beyond measure, man. We're going to have riches, carnal riches in the kingdom to come beyond measure, man. You understand? Unfathomable riches and glory, you understand? And we shall and we will inherit eternal life, man, everlasting life, man, of which death is a curse, man, of which we're going to overcome through what? Yahweh Shai, man. You understand? Because you can have as much riches as you want on this side, but, hey, man, you still have to face that thing called death, man. But guess what? We're going to have eternal, uh, unfathomable riches and eternal life same way, man. So we're going to be able to enjoy our carnal riches forever, man. <laughs> you understand? Hey, man. Hey, it's, it's going to be beautiful, man. That's why, hey, we hella rich, man. Our bank account overflowing, man. You understand? Ba'ashim Yahawashai. Ba'ashim Harakakudash. So let me get a scripture. This is the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 2. Verse 9. But as. But. Here. But as it is written. I had not seen. Nor ear heard. And I have entered into the heart of man. The things which Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. Can't say. Hey, the, the glory, the riches, you know what I mean? It's unfathomable, man. That we're going to receive, man. That we're about to receive, man. Abaratizah. You understand? It's unfathomable, man. You know what I mean? It's going to be beyond measurement. It's going to make the riches of this world look like a super welfare case. You understand? Let me read that again. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. Can't say, man. <laughs> Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, have prepared great, 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 man, super great things, man, for the elect, man. Super great things, man. Beyond measure, man. You understand? Know, things that we can't even... Begin to imagine, man. Riches, glory. You understand? That we can't begin to imagine. That we can't, we can't even begin to imagine, man. <clears throat> this is the book of... I guess are we going to spoil you heathen nations same way, man? All your riches, we taking it, man. You understand? All that gold, that silver, that precious ruby, silk. You know what I mean? Precious uh, purple. You know what I mean? All the precious jewels and gems that you have, and we taking that man. We gonna we hey we we that's our inheritance. You understand? Psalm two and eight, man. You heathens are our, our inheritance, man, and everything that you have belongs to us, the Israelites, the sons of God, man, the sons of the power, the sons of Yahweh. You understand? This is the book of Isaiah chapter sixty, 
verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Because those strangers are natural Gentiles, heathens. Talking about the kingdom. And their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Because the, the most I mean in our deliverance. In the salvation of the elect of Israel. Is having mercy upon us. You understand? So in our mercy. Eh, he going to show favor unto us man. And have mercy upon us. Therefore, and the kings of these heathen nations, men, the top men, hey, they're going to be servants unto us. They're going to be slaves unto us, man. You understand? They're going to be our beckoning call, man. Verse 11. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Come. What does that mean? <laughs> Traffic, man. They shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring, may, may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and their, their kings they be brought. And what are those forces? Those forces are the substance, man. The substance is the resources, the riches, man. You know what I mean? The precious things, man, that these Gentiles have, these natural Gentiles, these heathens have. And they're going to bring unto us, man. They're going to be bringing slaves unto us, concubines, the top most beautiful of the heathen women. You understand? Hey, Amen. <laughs> hey, we're going to have it all, man. And that's really just the, the, tip, the tip of the iceberg, man. You understand? That's just the tip of the iceberg, man. Because there's going to be many great a marvelous things that we feel and receive, man. Riches beyond measure, man. Riches beyond imagination. Glory beyond imagination, man. You understand? And we entering into that, man. Israel is feeling feeling to be glorified, man. And it's gonna start on this side too, man. And just expand from there, man. This is the book of So lucky I'm gonna get up, man. Come, so hey, man, we about to receive great, great glory, man. This is uh, Zephaniah, chapter three, verse nineteen. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. And I will get, get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Can't talk about the Israel, Israel, Israelites, man. So I don't want to let, man. Hey, Amen. So in these last and times, man, hey, great things going to be done, man. Brothers is going to be endowed with spiritual power, man. You know what I mean? Great miraculous things, man. So, hey, even beginning on the, on the decline of this empire, this Edomite empire, Hey, brothers, man, the, the elect man gonna be beginning to get glorified, man. You know what I mean? We're gonna be beginning to get what fame, man. And and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Huh, cause this 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 world man has shamed the so-called Negro man, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, man. Especially any man that stand up for the righteousness of the Bible. Any man that stand up for the righteousness of of his of his people, man. Any any man that's standing up against the power structure of Esau, Edom, man, and calling him out for being a demon that he is, man. You know what I mean? The antithesis of righteousness that Esau, Edom, is, man. They have put the righteous men to shame, man, in this world. At that time, will I bring you again, even in in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. Come, man. It's a great glory coming, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Coming soon, man. Just now, man. Just now coming, man. Great glory, man. Great fame. You know what I mean? Beyond measure, man. Yahweh, how shall have great things in store for them that fear him. In store for them that love him. In store for them that keep his commandments. In store for, for, for them that have keep the faith, man. And so for them to glorify his name, man. And with that, when I say Kal Halal Yamla, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harakakadash, double annals to the apostles, who has the Quan Yam of Great Mills on the rule well. And shalom to the sincere brethren out there holding strong. Shalom.